and um, what was your GPA? Um, so my GPA uh, was interesting. So um, I started off, so my cumulative GPA is 3.3. 3.61, um, but I think uh, personally, I, I think uh, I started off really low. I took a lot of, uh, I overloaded my first three years because I wanted to add that minor in med side. So I think first year was about 3.4, and then fourth year I finished with a 3.83. I guess that showed my ability to understand what my learning style was and how to study efficiently while balancing other uh, extracurriculars. So I think. Um, I think this speaks to saying like you don't have to have like a 4.0 GPA to get into any of these professional schools. I mean, it is nice, but um, even if you don't, don't get demotivated because um, as long as there's progression or there are other aspects to your application where if you can balance extracurriculars with a good GPA, it still shows like a strong candidate for the program. And how did you maintain that balance in order to keep your grades up? Um, so personally, I'm the type of person who likes to... Uh, go, go, go. So um, I tried to schedule different uh, things. So like sometimes a tennis practice would help me kind of um, relieve my stress before I go back into studying during exam season or um, a workout or hanging out with friends or just talking to my roommate. So those little um, breaks, I, I guess breaks or extracurricular breaks, um, helped me kind of accelerate those brief uh, time slots that I had for studying. Um, so, and I, I just love variety, so I don't like to just sit for like 10 hours and continuously study, so I'll have like a break in between, um, which is kind of something I'm trying to uh, maintain from undergrad and in PA school. Mm -hmm. And were there major differences between what you did in like your first three years versus fourth year? Okay, so um, first year I tried to maintain my study techniques from high school and that was definitely difficult because um, there was a lot more content and there was less time for that content, so you couldn't just memorize, memorize, memorize. So first year was, again, that's why it was a bit difficult for me to kind of grasp those concepts. And uh, I was surrounded by a lot of medical science students who came from um, IB or like had really good study skills. So I try to learn from my peers and I try to try my um, own different things or in terms of learning techniques. Um, and then progressing to fourth year, I started um, trying out different techniques again and I found what worked for me. So I was always the person who would um, talk out loud or like try to um, teach it to someone, to teach concepts to someone. But um, as I went through undergrad, I'd like to write concepts out and kind of summarize as I did that, and I found those different techniques, um, or exploring those different techniques throughout undergrad helped me, and I'm trying to uh, maintain that throughout PA school, but again, if you're always learning and you're always modifying your learning techniques because PA school is um, super accelerated, so you don't have time to write out all 200 pages of notes for pathology or something, so you got to find uh, different ways, and I think group study is something I got into coming into PA. I'm a first year PA student at the University of Toronto.